Hello and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the extinction map and today we're out and about in the, the wastelands. Um, at the moment I'm down in the southeast corner. I'm going to be looking around the southwest, um, pretty much all of the south. Um, that's because what I'm after are things like these corrupted hearts, the T-Rex arms, sauropod vertebrae and uh, fire talons so that uh, start taking on the, the actual titans so that's the forest titan and the, the desert titan so I come out to these places looking for things like um, the, there's, there's corrupted fire wyvern yeah corrupted fire wyverns are out here there are t-rexes sometimes there's the, the alpha t-rexes uh, then there's the, the spinos that are out and about as well uh, parasers I can get corrupted hearts from them but it's um, also the other resources, you know, I mean I can get these off the Brontos, but these ones, I'm not too fussy, you can get them off any T-Rex, but these are, there's only like the corrupted uh, fire with them, so it's, it's mostly these corrupted hearts, I can sometimes get like three or four depending on what I take on, and I've brought Freya here out with me, she's, unfortunately she's lost her, her Mastercraft saddle, I got that off a drop, I can't remember whether it was like gacha claws, wrapped claws, or a, an orbital supply drop or something, but she had a Mastercraft saddle. At some point, I, I remember logging in, uh, and it was a blueprint on her. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to fix that, and then at one point I, I'd put her into a, one of these cryopods, popped her out, that was it. It was, it was gone, gone for good, so it's completely lost now, unfortunately. But I mean, she's just handling it on her own. I mean, I've got some guns with me just on the other, on the off chance, because things like the women's can be a bit of a pain. So sometimes I'll take them on with a shotgun. But uh, the plan is to go out and get as many of these uh, corrupted hearts as I can, because they're the ones that take the most of my time up. The only problem is they don't always, um, they don't always get harvested. I don't know whether it's some feature that was just newly introduced into extinction but what you'll notice is you'll get like a little black uh, kind of like a little black weight icon and um, that tells you that the, the number of slots on that dino have been used up and it, it'll, it'll, after that at that point it'll stop harvesting things so let's just see so we got four of that uh, I think I think those ones came from the from the parasa. But I'm not. I don't have the black icon. But I still got this problem where sometimes things don't get always collected. So I've got to keep jumping off every so often. But the strategy normally is I'll just um, I'll take on whatever it is I'll take on, and then I'll you know get the get the things that I need. Oh, there's a corrupted T-Rex. Good. Get the things that I need, and then I'll basically just empty our inventory. That seems to be the the best strategy. It doesn't always work, and sometimes you find that you'll 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 have nothing in your inventory. You take on something like a you know like a T Rex or something, and you'll still have to jump off, even if even if the inventory isn't full. So it doesn't uh, it doesn't always work. It's not you know guaranteed. So I'll just get them and them, and I'll empty her inventory. It just means I've got a better chance of um, getting what I need, though. And it is a bit of a grind. I mean, I could probably, I could probably make life a bit easy with the orbital supply drops, I suppose, because if you go on the yellow ones, the yellow orbital supply drops or the 25k veins, you can get parasites on there. The red orbital supply drops are where you can find things like the wivens, but I'm just trying to find an efficient way of doing those. I mean, I've taken like T-Rexes into the into the uh, element veins, for instance, and the trouble is I found they get stuck on the on the actual veins, and they, they actually do trample damage, so they actually damage the veins themselves, so that sometimes causes me problems. So I've, I've got an idea for a more efficient way. Now, part of the problem I've got is that, that saddlebag's fallen on the floor, and I've got a T-Rex behind... Uh, come on. Now I've got to see that... that, that that saddle's still there because sometimes they despawn really, really quickly. I found that, yep, yeah, say it's despawned. With the corrupted ones, they despawn so quickly 
and that's a real pain when you're on like doing the orbital supply drops I found or the the veins because it's it's like it's a bit risky jumping off jumping off your mount um, when there's like twenty something dinos coming at you. Did you, did you harvest that one? Ah, oh, good, right. It's So as I say, it's, it's kind of like hit and miss, I'm finding. Now, I noticed up there there was a, there's a wyvern, so I'm going to give that a crack. Uh, let's see where it went now. Because those ones, I can sometimes get their attention just by shooting them. Freya can sometimes handle them. She'll, she'll get that first injured, unfortunately. Because um, it can cause quite a lot of damage if he gets set on fire. Oh, a, I think it's a parasite. Where that wyvern's gone? There's a wyvern around here somewhere. I just can't see it. Oh, there it is, it's over there. But I need those ones. I need the wyvern ones for the uh, for the desert type. <gasps> Tyrannodons. They can be a pain because they they'll. Tyrannodons can come after you. I've, had, I've sometimes had about like 20, 30, 40 of the things. See, I'm back to this, this problem with the saddlebags. I've got that many things on me. I don't want to risk jumping off, and yet there's anybody and everybody's decided to join in and take me on. Right, let's see if I can get that quickly in time. Ah! Oh! Right, okay. I don't think there was anything in that one anyway. So, next thing is to try is that with me. But it's a, it's just a basically, it's a slow grind process. Ah, did you see the little black icon there? It was like a little weird icon just to say that the, uh, the inventory slots were all used up. Oh, I think that spine will might take an interest in me now. But I'm just gonna, oh, now I've got a, ooh, what, what are you? Are you useful or useless? Oh, I don't have my spyglass on me. What, what are you? I tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here. I don't seem to have my spyglass on me for some strange reason. I'm quite, I'm quite keen to, to, um, to get some of these uh, tech rexes because the, the started off they were just a kind of like a novelty, I think, more than anything. But now they've been made a sort of like a permanent uh, part of our. And I got one. I mean, it wasn't like the highest level you can get. So what level are you? Are you? Because I want to see if it's any use. Oh, 28. That's useless. I'll get rid of this anyway, because I'm going to be taking that uh, wyvern on at some point. Or rather, that thing's going to take on me. I can see it's coming for me. <laughs> right, let's see if I can get its attention. But, uh, I mean, if at any time you do find yourself liking the video, then do please click that like button, because that will help me out a great deal. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, then yeah, do subscribe. Uh, just remember to click the little bell icon, then that way you'll get notifications for when new content comes out. And if you've got any comments, suggestions, any way you can think of doing this better, because it's it is quite grindy, uh, then do please leave a comment in the comments section below. Right, okay, right. I need to get to that really, really quickly. I hope that nothing spawns in the area. How long? 10 seconds. Yeah, see what I mean? I literally had about 10 seconds to pick that up. So, I think that seems to be the easiest way to do it, or at least the most efficient. Well, I wouldn't say the most efficient is. Rather than to like tank one of these uh, wyverns with the. Well, I don't want to be tackling that thing. <laughs> I think I, I'm, I'm quite tempted at some point why the port across a. You know, like a, a bulb dog or something, or bring across the charge lanterns to be able to take them things on, but. Trouble is, I don't know how to. Um, I don't know how to recharge a charge lamp. I haven't seen anything on this map that will let you do it. Uh, I mean, I would assume there's a way because they wouldn't have brought those corrupted Reaper Kings in unless they were going to give you the option to take them on with the, um, you know, with your normal dinos or something. I mean, I'm I'm seriously tempted to to go out and start taming up Giggers at some point. But I'm just going to basically, I'm just going to heal up uh, Freya here. I mean, so far, I mean, I've been out here about half an hour doing this run. I mean, 
I've got about 40 hearts so far, a couple of talons and T-Rex is easy. I've got enough uh, vertebrae so I'm okay there but I'm getting a few black pearls while I've been at it. I think these tend to drop mostly off the Rexes. But I need a hundred of these. Uh, I need, I've got enough of those. I'm trying to think which one was the, yeah, ten of those. So I sh once I've got a got hundred of these I'll have enough to take on the, the forest titan but um, I'm just going to pause the video because I want to heal up free and then I'm going to lo go looking for, for more of these things to take on. So I'll be back in a short while. I've come over to the south and I've just spotted where there's a there's a wyvern flying around. It's right next to the edge though. Just having a look. I mean yeah, right on the south. Those, those carnos there, they literally just spawned in front of me before I started recording. And let me see where that Wyvern's gone because I want to get its attention. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can at least get its attention, then I might be able to bring that down. Oh, truth, that's a. The, the, the biggest problem I get with these Wyverns is then, you know, you can bring them down, but it's trying to get their. Um... Ah, truth. Yeah, the biggest problem is I might be able to bring one of those things down. But then it's a case of trying to get to it in time to get to harvest the actual talent. So you can try and clear the area, but there's no guarantee you will. Ooh! We've got us got our first singed. Where have you gone? I don't know what level that thing is. Ah! Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on! I can't tell where I'm on, on the front or the back. Ah, come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! It's right on top of me, but I'm... Yeah, I could do with a better way of reloading than this. <sighs> I need to turn around. That's one thing, I'm not very good at turning around on these things. Right, whoa, 216, Struth. 216 corrupted uh, women. Yeah, so I mean, a uh, long neck's pretty easy enough to... Um, to at least get their attention. I mean, this one I've got. It's a. Uh, I got that off the uh, off the gacha. The loot since been nerfed, to be honest. So it's not. It's, you don't get anything as good, but you could probably. I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't sort of port across uh, decent gear that you find on the on say like the island or scorched earth. Quite frankly, I'm coming around to that attitude now because when I first started the playthrough, I was basically I would. I would only port the actual character across, so I'd start on the island, then I would uh, port the character across, then I'd do Scorched Earth, so I didn't have to necessarily learn new engrams or such, except the ones unique to Scorched Earth, but I'd, I'd do like completely new T-Rexes, completely new um, imprinting dinos and that sort of stuff, but if you go by the actual storyline, I think it makes more sense to actually just port the lot across, to be honest. So uh, I think it could make make a more interesting game doing that because if you if you follow the storyline, that is kind of what goes on. You know, you've got your characters coming up, coming across, and they learn new things as they as they do it. So I'm quite tempted to, to do another playthrough where what I'll do is um, I mean I would I would port across the boss directions because. The things like T-Rexes are the only they're the only ones that I'd, I'll go and spend a good deal of time on the imprinting. And you are limited on how much like imprinting you can do. So I would I would go to the trouble of um ooh, six seconds. I would go to the trouble of basically spending a long long time taming up the T-Rexes. I don't want to repeat the process again on say scorched earth. So I would then go through and like tame them all up on the island and then put them into the beacon and then uh, bring them down on scorched earth. So I'm, I'm quite actually tempted to start doing that with um, basically doing a complete new start. Start from scratch. Uh, except I want to do it on a server this time as opposed to running everything on the, on the computer because I did run into problems with uh, I think it's the Cave of the Sky Lord I think it is. Because when I did that in the last playthrough at least, 
the artifact never spawned. I mean, I, I was looking underneath the map for it, and it could just never spawn no matter what I did. I could go into the cave, clear everything out, I would um, remove all the resources, you know, harvest the, the metal, that sort of stuff, come back. Resources weren't respawning, the, uh, the wild dinos weren't respawning, the artifact never respawned, so then I would restart the game, I'd leave the area, leave it running for half an hour, come back, and after a while I would sometimes find that the, the resources would respawn, but the dinos didn't, or sometimes the, the dinos would respawn, but at, never point, ne at no point did the actual artifact itself ever spawn. Um, that was a real pain I found. I was, um, I, I ultimately had to get the actual achievement. I went uh, over to the center, and I just, uh, I actually did it in the center, which was, uh, yeah, it was a bit. I was a bit miffed with that. Uh, right, this is this, this is not good. I've got every, well, I've got everything but the kitchen sink here. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to do that, do a completely new playthrough, and just. Just out of curiosity, see what it's like, because you learn all the all the engrams on a map. So it'll be interesting to actually just tame up what I want, and then you know on the on the next map maybe you know still tame up some things like you know T Rexes and uh, Phylacolios, just just to see if I get anything better. Now obviously I don't want to bring you know I don't want to bring across dinos that don't belong there. I mean, you, you actually find there are some things you can't bring across to um, Aberration, for instance. It won't let you actually pull them across, I've found. I mean, Ab Aberration was quite unique because I never ported anything into Aberration. That was practically just... everything was just played out from scratch. That was um, that was quite an interesting map. But I'm quite tempted to change it up a bit uh, in the next playthrough, just literally just so I can go, because I've, I've, I've done it, I've been there, done that, you know, got the t-shirt, so to speak. So I'm quite tempted to start from scratch on the island with a completely new server. Everything's set back to the basics. I'll, I mean, I'll still tweak the taming settings just to make it easier. Um, in terms of, like, you know, I don't spend, like, several days taming something up. Because, I mean, I, I dread to think how much time it would take on an official server. The amount of like T-Rexes that I harvested just going through to get uh, some reasonable T-Rexes on the island. I mean, I think I went through about 14, 15 of them. They were like level 180s and 170s before I settled on a, a decent T, you know, a, a decent pair of T-Rexes to breed from. That would have taken forever just to, to tame them. And then to breed them would have taken even longer. And I mean, I spent about four or five days doing that. Several days going out clearing T Rexes out. Um, several days then breeding them because, I mean, obviously I want specifically I want a health mutation. If I get a food mutation and I'm not really interested in the colours, then that's just a waste. And it takes even on my settings, it still takes a while to breed them and then get a decent uh, mutation. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite tempted to start from scratch and see what it's. See how much easier it is, should I say, if I start from scratch on the island and then pretty much port as much as I can across. In fairness, like, I mean, I'm not going to sort of, like, get, um, Wivens. I mean, I could, in theory, I could, uh, bring across the Wivens from Scorched Earth over to here. But I, I don't particularly want to do that. Um, I'm more inclined to just bring, like, the Boss Rexes or maybe, like, you know, Thylacolios, for instance. Just to save me going out searching for things, because I, I don't know, I mean, I've, I've been playing through this uh, map and the spawn levels, well not so much the spawn levels, I'd say the waiting for the levels of the dinos seems to be a bit skewed, I'm getting very, very low levels most of the time. But at the moment, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty much just a grindy process, I'm just going through that process of getting as many um, corrupted hearts as I can. And most of this, I'm, I'm doing quite well really, just using the Thylacolio here. Uh, I get a lot of what I need with her, she's, uh, she's doing very well. So, I'm just going to pause the video again, because I'm going to head over to the... Oops, true. That's a lot of, a lot of Tyrannodons here to go through. I'm going to head a bit further southwest. 
over to the to the sulfur fields because I know I've, over there at times I've seen seen quite a lot of parasers and spinos. I mean, so far we're on about 57, so I'm about halfway there, and we've got about three fire talents. So we've been at this about three quarters of an hour, so it's it is quite a grind, but. That's what I'm most interested in because I've got all of these. I've got all of these now. I've got enough back at base so that I can take on the forest titan. So I need, I think I've got about another 20 odd of those back at base, but I, I still need quite a lot more. Um, and then we can wrap this up. So I'll see you shortly. Okay then. So we're in the sulphur fields now. It's uh, just a just a tad warm. Um, Basically over here I tend to find things like parasites and spinos, so it's the corrupted ones I'm looking for. I saw one of them down there, there's a cor corrupted spino down there. Go away, I'm not interested in you. I need corrupted hearts. So I've still got a quite, uh, I've got quite a few. Ah, oh, there you go, there's, so there's a parasite over there. Let's see if I can get any off this. Uh, actually, I've got to check. Have you got anything in your pockets? Not a lot. Right, we'll dump this lot. Let's see what we can get off this spinal here. I mean, I don't always get something. And I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing a bag. It just doesn't look as though I've got anything off that one. Let's try that Paraser over there. Should have better look with a Paraser because usually I can get about three or four off them things. Hopefully it won't go over the edge. <laughs> That'll be a pain. Come on, come on, come on. Don't, no, don't, don't, no, no. You jumped off the edge. What did you jump off the edge for? Ah, oh, well, that's no use. I'll have to go and get it now. Right, see if we can work our way down here. Because, I mean, the Thylacolio can take a bit of damage, but I mean... I mean, if it's if the drop's too high, then it'll take a lot of damage, so... Uh, let's see if we can go and get that Parasect. Oh, there it is. Wow, look at all those... Look at all those Pteranodons badgering that gas bags over there. Right, so, we'll get that. I mean, usually I get about three or four of these parasites. So I mean, I'm, I mean, I suppose you could do quite a lot of like yellow orbit supply drops, for instance, so the 25k veins. The only trouble is trying to pick them up, because if there's a lot of these uh, dinosaurs around, it might be a bit of a struggle. I'm not seeing a bag. Did you get that one? Yes, you got three. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, hold on. Oh, it was just two. I thought I'd suddenly been swarmed by Tyrannodons. So, I mean, this, this particular area here, it's just... It's kind of just outside of the sulfur fields. I mean, it's... Yeah, what's down there? I'll have that. Thank you very much. I don't know if I need them, to be honest, but I mean... <laughs> I may as well collect everything at this stage. So, yeah, I mean, over in the sulphur fields, I mean, you can get um, parasites and you can get spinos, so sometimes get a few of those corrupted hearts that way. So I've got about 62. To oh, struth! It's about six so far, seven. Seven pteranodons. I'll have that one, thank you. I'll have the black. Pearls. The rest will dump. So I'm at the 65. I think there was a there's a parasite up there. Well, I'm just gonna keep on clearing this area because what I'm gonna do is I want to work my way up to the north. Because I'm quite keen to see what the wyverns are like up there. I've got a rough idea where I've seen some. So I'm gonna clear so sort of like the things like the parasite and that spine on my way there. But I'll I'll bring you back once I'm up in the northern area. Um, so I want to see what that place is like in comparison, because I know there's I know there's gigas, and my biggest concern is being able to take things like women's down, and then being able to jump off and get the the actual uh, talent from the from you know from the bag in time. But 
I'm going to go up there and we'll, we'll give it a go, see what it's like. So, see you shortly. Right, I'm, I'm up in the north. Ah, uh, this is, this is giga country. <laughs> so I can see there's a, there's a wyvern over there that I could go after, for instance. I'll have to pretty much skirt around. There's a lot of giggas here. <laughs> Thing is, I'm, I'm a bit concerned because I came through there and I practically jumped right through the, the rock. Because, uh, I came, I mean, I'll show you what I mean. If I go backwards through here, I'm, I'm disappearing through the rock. <laughs> So I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm, the, the whole the idea was, you know, for, to come up here and to where uh, on the solid ground where hopefully like a giga couldn't get to me. But if you can actually just walk through the rock, it doesn't give me much hope. Um, I mean, there was a giga down there. There's, there's, there were also like uh, corrupted T Rexes around. There was two of them just fell down there when I came through. Maybe if I can. If I can maybe so like lure that uh, wyvern over here, maybe. I don't think there's any down there. Ah, could have done with a scope. I tell you what, I'm gonna see if I can head. I'm gonna head that way. Oh good, that's solid. That was a nice solid drop. Come on, come on, reload. You haven't got all day. Right, so at least got its attention anyway. Right, pull it down here hopefully, because I do not want, I just seriously do not want a gigger on my back. Let's see, that uh, came after me. Ooh, wow, that's done quite a bit of damage. Now, that's the only downside is... Uh, I want to pull it over, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to be in a situation where, uh, you know, I drop it and then it's. I've got to then suddenly chase after the plum and think to uh, pick up its cash. Where did you go to? Oh well, at least, at least somebody else has got it to interest anyway. So that's one plus. Ah, oh, come on! Now is not a good time to be reloading. Where did it go? Oh, it's over there now. Oh, not a dire bear. <laughs> Just wonder what level this thing is. Another 216. Oh man, no, 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 this is not what I need. See? Yeah, that's going to be the downside is... Some things despawned. Yeah, it's despawned. I just didn't. I just missed out on the loot. The loot bag was just down there. But this is like one place you could come to as an alternative if you're looking for for the withens. I mean, I think you'll find more of them up here than anywhere else. It's just you've got to be wary of those uh, those giggers. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look around for another one. I'll bring you back if I find one. Okay, I, I, I wasn't looking for this one. It, it actually managed to find me. Um, I was just, I was up there, taking on a, on a T-Rex, and then this, uh, <laughs> I got up the side of that cliff to take on that T-Rex over there, and I walked straight into a bloomin' wyvern. That suddenly uh, decided to singe uh, Freya's fur. So I, I want to get rid of this thing first. I mean, at the very least, I'll get corrupted hearts out of this one. Hopefully. I was just—I literally just jumped off to get the bag, um, and it decided uh, this woman over there just suddenly decided to take an interest in us. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can take this one down. Let's see. I think you must have something like I don't know, maybe like only 10, 15 seconds or something there. To collect the bag, which is frustrating. I mean, so far I've, I've been up against two, and they've been level two sixteen. Both of them, so feels quite a high level. Where have you gone? You gone over there, right? Are you coming? Yep, you are. 
Ow, ow, ow. Oh, whoa! Whoa! That was something that was right on top of me there. Right, where's your bag? Give me a bag. I want your bag. So at least I got a talent out of that one. Did you get any... Nah, yeah, it's too much in me. It's too much in your pocket. I don't like this 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 thing at all where you've got limited slots. I mean, I get the weight, but the slots, I mean, that's just... I wish I hadn't put that in. It's just... It's way too annoying. But anyway, we're up to 87 and 4, so I mean... I mean, this is another area you can come then. I mean, so far i found about two of them here. I mean, I'll head back up there. My concern is, here the rocks. I don't know what is and what isn't solid. That's one thing that's bothering me. The other is the amount of giggers. I mean, there is a lot of giggers around. Let's see if I can get back up there. Oh! <laughs> okay, so... Wivens ahoy, as they say. Whoa! You're gonna send your fur. Where did it go? Wow, I didn't even try and I found that one. Where's your bag? Oh, something took an interest on me. See that? Oh, it's true. That was that was not comfortable. You jump off and then there's something there's something on you. Right, so what we're on? So we're on five and five and ninety. So yeah, that's a it is a place you can come to because you, you're going to need ten ten of these talents to be able to take on the uh, the desert titan. Ten of the, um, I think it's ten of the Sargo skins. But I, ca I came up up here. There was a there was a giga right over on the right. Oh, it's moved over to the left now. Let's get rid of this. T Rexes, I don't mind. Giggers, I'm not. I'm not comfortable just sitting around with uh, giggers. the. Trouble is, there was a couple of times where I've. Um, I've seen like a what, what I thought was a giga with its head sticking in the cave wall, uh, and it turned out to be a. Uh, sorry, I thought it was T Rex with its head sticking in the cave wall, and it turned out to be a giga. So <laughs> that was not uh, that was not a pleasant experience. Nope, you drop that. You drop that. Ah, never mind. I don't think I've got any, and I've got none to show for that one. Drat. Let's get rid of all this prime. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a, a sort of like a rinse and repeat. I mean, I could probably like try and pull some of them down, down to there maybe and out the way, for instance. I don't like pulling giggers because they're, they're blooming fast. I mean, if I make a dash for... What's that one? Is that a... That, it's a T-Rex, I think. Oh no, it's a giga. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, oh, that's true. So I know there's wivens around here because I've been around here with like the snow owl, for instance. But it's a case you, you you could could you could come up here and start. Oh, there's one just. Did that thing just spawn? I think that thing just spawned. Ah. Oh. Good grief, that was a lousy shot. You didn't even try. Let's see if I can get its attention. Oh, there's two of them over there. Oh, I could have sworn that was going to be a shot. It's too far. Oh no, it's landed in... There's no way I'm going after that thing. <laughs> I, I don't care. I don't care how much I need talons. I'm not going after that thing. So there's some up there, so tell you what, I'm just going to pause and I'll see if I can work my way around. Actually, it doesn't matter the gig, this uh, women just suddenly decide to head down there anyway. So let's, uh, oh, there's one over there as well. So this is, uh, yeah, this is, oh, oh, Struth, there's a woman there. There's a gigger over there. 
So they're starting to respawn, I think. Oh, come on, now is not the time to be reloading. Where did it go? Ow! Right, see if I can get to that before anybody. Oh, blooming dillos! Ah, I've only got a few seconds, man. Nope. Ah, oh, that sucks. At least I got some hearts out of it. But it's pretty much just a case of like working your way through this lot. Then you know you can get, you can find some of them in the south, and you can find some of them up here in the north. Um, the next thing to really do is I'm going to look for some sargos. Now I know there's some in the city. I don't have all of the talons that I that I need, but I'm going to go looking for sargos because I know I need some of them. So. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go looking for those. I'll, I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll come back once I've found some. Okay, so, right about the east of the city. Uh, and I know I've seen Sargos over here. Now there's one. There's one, for instance, I can take on. Just like, you might want to be careful about what time of the day you come over, because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Megalosaurus, uh, over here. I don't care what level they are, they're, they're pretty brutal. <laughs> Especially at night. <laughs> Let's see if I can find any more, because I, I, I know there was a, like a ramp or something that I saw. Okay, they're all going to sleep for some strange reason. Maybe it's just because I've just only just come into the area. How bizarre, they all, they all suddenly decide to go, in, go to sleep. So I've got one anyway, so that's a that's a start. Trouble is there are capros around. Is that a capro or a sago? That's a sago. Please be a sago. I think that's is that a capro down to my right? Aha! Good, you harvested that one. Because I healed her up and then uh, emptied her pockets. So there's a couple of there's a couple of capros down here I can see. Probably might be better to have come here on the uh, on Polly Parrot because then I could have seen them and just swooped down and killed them. So there's a couple of Capros, but I know there's definitely there's definitely Sargos down here that I've seen before. Oh, 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 oh! This wasn't planned. I just get my bearings. Okay. Yeah, there's more, more Capros down here as well, so... But pretty much this is where I'm going to have to be coming for to get uh, Sargo skins, because I'll need ten of those for the... for the Desert Titan fight. Oh, that's just a spider. That's not much of a problem. Go away, spider! So at least anyway, I mean, I've... not too bad. I mean, I'm... I've got enough uh, hearts now, and I've got enough T-Rex legs. I know I've got enough of these back at base. Um, I'll probably need some more Wyvern talons. I'll need more uh, Sargo skins if I want to take on the, the Desert uh, Titan. I'm just not quite ready there. I'm still trying to get the... Uh, what are they called? Uh, Managamas, yeah. We're still trying to get the decent one of those bred up. So I think probably next I'll what I'll do is I'll go up against the Forest Titan. Because I've got the Rex army. I'm going to put them in place because I, I keep leaving them in the wrong wrong side. The idea is I'll I'll have the the Rex army just sitting on uh, where the actual forest titan spawns. I'll just make a quick dash through the cave, and then the plan is basically I'll just pretty much just leave the Rex army to to take on the bus, and uh, I'll bring in probably like an assault rifle, shotgun, try out um, another lonosaur. If I've got the time, I'll, uh, I'll I want to try the mech against one of those. I want to see how much damage one of those can do with a with one of those uh, big um, cannons that you can put on the back of them. I don't know what happened. I think I, I used to have one, but it um, it's disappeared from my uh, my inventory. I've, I've had a few things lately just disappear from my inventory. 
Uh, no idea why. But uh, I think I want to try those as well, and then maybe once I get a decent level Managama, I'll probably take one of those in as well. But for this next uh, attempt, what I'll do is, as I say, I'll most most of it will get done by the the T-Rexes, because what I tend to find is if you start to shoot it or hit it with something, it doesn't take much for it to aggro onto you, so you can pretty much just run around and leave the... I mean, the T-Rexes that I've got can take quite a bit of... Well, they can put quite a bit of damage onto that um, Forest Titan. Anyway, it, it, it hands out a lot of AoE damage itself. So it means... Uh, it, it's obviously it's better done with more than one person, but obviously I'm just soloing it. Uh, that's my aim anyway. So it just means it takes... I, I can't hand out as much damage as like a team of, say, like two or three people could have done. Oh, it's truth, I think I've just annoyed a Megalosaur. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I obviously couldn't co hand out as much damage as a, a team of two or three people could have, so it just means my T-Rex is going to take more damage. But, uh, I mean, it's not, not a major amount. So I'm just going to carry on collecting the resources that I need for these uh, boss fights. Uh, but as far as this video goes, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want to if you want to get the corrupted hearts, I mean, there's, I've seen quite a few things like Parises and uh, there, there's the corrupted Rexes, there's the corrupted Spinos, and you can find quite a lot of those around the south. You know, maybe start at the south, work your way to the southwest, then just keep going backwards and forwards. There's some women's down there as well. Uh, you can get more wyverns if you go up into the northern section, but you've just got to be careful because of the the actual gigasaurs that are up there as well. Um, in term, but you'll, you'll obviously you'll have to go against wyverns to get the the actual fire talons. For sargos, I mean, I can just pretty much find them down here in the in the eastern part of the city. There's uh, there's usually quite a few, so I only need ten, so it shouldn't take me long to get those. Um, just seeing what else there would be. There's the sauropod uh, vertebrae. They're, they're easy enough. There's plenty of brontos wandering around the place. So most of the time it's just collecting th collecting these corrupted hearts off the parasites and what have you. I mean, you'll get plenty of these off the corrupted T-Rexes anyway, and there's, there's tons of those. Because you can get... Um, there's parasites and T-Rexes up in the northern section as well. So they're they're pretty easy. It's just a, just a grind, basically. But anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I found more or less most of the places I need to go to to go like farming all of these uh, resources I need for the for the boss fights. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If so, then do please leave a like because that would help me out a great deal. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, then do please click on the subscribe button. But just remember to click the bell icon, and then that way you'll get notifications for when new content comes out. If you've got any comments or suggestions anywhere you can think of, you know, making a, making this whole process a lot more easier, more efficient, then yeah, do please post that in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next video, bye.